It's another Marte here with teacher Jenny. Join me for another topic. This time we're talking about inverse functions and the ways that we can find it the quicker way. So here is our example. We have f of x equal to negative 3x plus 2 over x plus 4. So as you can see, that is rational function. So the best way for you to find its inverse function is for you to follow the, the steps. So how are we going to do it? Now, please make sure before you are going to do the process, make sure that you are arranging your exponents on the numerator and so with the denominator. So I, we always start with the highest exponent and moving down to our constant. So as you can see there on your numerator, it is well arranged and so with our denominator. So for now, what we are going to do is to follow this one. So this is now the way to do it the quicker way so we are going to take note that this one that i will be encircling are the things that you are going to retain let me redo that one okay again i'll be encircling those that i will be retaining so here including the x on the numerator and so with this x on the denominator so those are the things that i'm keeping and the ones that I did not encircle, I'm going to flip that one, meaning to say they will be changing its position. Your negative 3 will now be going down and your positive 4 will be going up. But take note, we are doing the reverse of their sign. So instead of negative 3 going down, it will be now positive 3 that will be going down and you are 4 there, which is positive that will become a negative once it goes up because there we are changing position and in math when we're changing position we are trying to um, change signs so normally we are going to change the sign here of our negative three and the positive four so again keeping that in mind that we are going to keep our uh, things that i've encircled there so that means to say we have still a fraction and our inverse of the function so we have here x plus 2 will be retained and then your x here will also be retained now next we are going to switch places and then switching places this will change our sign so here instead of negative 3 that will become 4 here beside your x but this time since this is positive that will become negative 4 and then attached to your x then your negative 3 will be going down, but instead it should be positive 3 that will be going down. So there you go. That will be the shortcut for finding the inverse of that rational function. Now, let's try to check it if we have the correct inverse of your function. So how to check it? We can go for the long process in which we are following steps here in which the first step is we are changing our fx or f of x to your y. So this is now equal to we have negative 3x plus 2 over x plus 4. So we are now checking here. So let me put here check. Checking. So this time we are now going to do the second step in which we are changing y to x and x to y so here we have y that's that will be changed to x and then we have here negative 3 we have x that will be y plus 2 and then we have over x will become y and then we have plus 4. next one we are now down to solving our y so since this is rational so we can just go for cross multiplying that one because the right side contains only single um single terms so that is why we are going to do cross multiplication in here so cross multiply multiplying this would lead to um x times y plus four and that will be equal to one times negative three y plus two so we have 1 times negative 3y plus 2, that will be equal to negative 3y plus 2. 
And then we have here, we can distribute your x inside y plus 4. So this is now x times y, that's xy. x times 4, that will be 4x. And then that will be equal to negative 3y plus 2. We are solving y here, so that means the next one here will be transferring negative 3y to the other side because we wanted to solve for y, so we put all the y's on our left side. So here, we have to retain xy on the left side, then we transfer negative 3y here, that becomes positive 3y or plus 3y. And that will be equal to our 4x will be moved to the other side. So we have 2 minus 4x. Then we try to factor out our common between xy and 3y. Common factor is y. So we have the other factor which is coming from xy divided by y, that's x. And then we have plus 3y divided by y, that's 3. And that will be equal to 2 minus 4x. So since we're solving for y, we will be dividing this one with x plus 3 and also with this one as x plus 3. We're canceling. y will be equal to 2 minus 4x over x plus 3. So there you go. We can arrange that one. So our final answer for the inverse of your function here will be equal to negative 4x plus 2 over x plus Plus three. So as you can see, you have there on your shortcut the same value for the inverse function. Okay, so let's go to another. So this is now the next example, which is with the same format. So you have g of x equal to 5x minus 2 over negative 2x minus 1. You may try it on your own. You may pause the video and then come back once you have your answer. So again, we're going to do our shortcut. So this is now g to the negative 1 of x. This is equal to, we are to retain x minus 2 there. And then we are to retain negative 2x here. And then again, we swap the numbers, the 5 at the top and the 1 at the bottom part. But we are bringing the opposite sign of those numbers. So we move up one here to the top. So since this is negative here or minus, so that means this is a plus here. And then we have here five at the top. So we bring that down. That is positive. So once it is brought down, then that will be minus five or negative five. Simplifying that one, this is now g to the negative one of x. That will be equal to x minus two over negative 2x minus 5. So let's try to check that one using our long process. If that is still the same. So again, we, we have step 1. We rewrite that one into y equal to 5x minus 2 over negative 2x minus 1. Then again, we change y to x, x to y. y is x here, and then that will be equal to 5. x will become y. And we have minus 2 over negative 2. Your x will become y here. And then we have minus 1. Then this is understood with over 1 or the denominator of 1 here. So we can do cross multiplication. This is now x times negative 2y minus 1 equal to 1 times 5y minus 2 is equal to 5y minus 2. Distributing that one inside, this is now x times negative 2y, that is negative 2xy. x times negative 1, that's negative x, that will be equal to 5y minus 2. Then we are going to transfer those that contains y on the left side. So we have to retain negative 2xy here. And then move our x to the other side and move 5y to the other side. So this is now minus 5y, that will be equal to negative 2 plus x and this is now uh, factoring getting the common out which is y so we have here y now although you have common factor which is negative y we will be letting out the y only because we're solving for y right after this one so we have what is left here as negative 2xy divided by y that will be negative 2x and then negative 5y divided by y, that will be negative 5. And then we have negative 2, 2 plus x on the other side. 
Then we divide the entire thing with negative 2x minus 5 because we wanted to solve for our x. So we cancel this out. We, I mean, we wanted to solve for our y. I mentioned x a while ago, sorry, in that one. Next, we have y equal to negative 2 plus x over negative 2x minus 5. And then this will be now your final answer. You've got here g to the negative 1 of x. We are arranging this one. This will be now x minus 2. We have here at the bottom part negative 2x minus 5. So as you can see there, they are the same. So that is how you do the shortcut of that kind of problem wherein you've got their rational function. Let's go to this one. Now, how do we get our inverse of your function here? Now, in order for you to get this one quickly, we are going to follow our inverse of operation. So inverse of operation, we will be considering once we're adding there on your function, in your inverse function, we will be subtracting. Once you are multiplying, we will be dividing and vice versa. Now, once you have their cube root, we will be doing the inverse of that one, which is the cube. If we have cube in there, we will be doing the inverse of that, which is your um, cube root, okay, and vice versa. So let's go for this one. So we have here f of x, so we'll go directly to f to the negative 1 of x, and that will be equal to, we have here cube root of 3x minus 2. Take note, this is one single term, so we will be breaking down inside by simply getting rid of that cube root. So, we are going to take on the reverse of that one, which is, or the inverse of cube root, which is your cube. So, when you're doing inverse function or inverse of operation, you will be starting off with an x. Then you do the inverse of whatever is there. So, there, there is x cubed there, so we will be cubing this x here. Next, we're done with this one, the cube root. So we go inside, we have 3x minus 2. Now take note in inverse of operation, we are following also the PEMDAS, but this time we are doing the reverse way. So meaning to say, we start with our addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, down to parentheses. So here, since we have here uh, two operations inside. We have multiplication here and we have subtraction here. That means to say we'll start with subtraction. We have here minus 2, so we'll have uh, that one as plus 2. And then we have multiplied by 3. That means we will be dividing the entire thing by 3. So there you go. That will be your inverse of your function. Now, you may check that one by doing the long process, and you will find out that that will be the correct one. Okay, so that is it. So, I hope you were able to learn something new from me, and I hope you were able to catch up everything. So, again, everybody, in math, really, please do not think that that is difficult. It's a matter of following the instruction and following the pattern on how to do and discovering new things on how to solve your problem. Okay, so once again, this is your teacher Jenny saying good luck in every challenges that you will be encountering in your life. Everything has its meaning. Bye everyone. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.